Hello and welcome to my channel, Hardware AI. I say this phrase more often than I should, but it has been quite a while since I updated my channel. This time it was because I was too busy running from coronavirus, being a step ahead of it so far. These might be very difficult times for many of us, depending on the part of the world you live in. Due to aggravating coronavirus pandemic, many countries implemented strict lockdown policies. I myself recently had to spend 14 days in quarantine, staying indoors for 24 hours a day. I decided to make most of this time and continued working on stuff I'm excited about. Robotics and machine learning. And this is how Accelerate was born. Accelerate started as a personal project of mine for training YOLA v2 based object detection networks and exporting them to K-model format to be run on K210 chip. I also needed to train image classification networks and sometimes I needed to run inference with TensorFlow Lite on Raspberry Pi. As a result, I had this whole bunch of disconnected scripts with somewhat overlapping functionality. So I decided to fix that by combining all the elements in one easy-to-use package and, as a bonus part, making it fully compatible with Google Colab. Accelerate is meant for people who need to run computer vision applications like image classification, object detection, and semantic segmentation on edge devices with hardware acceleration. Here is a quick summary of structure of Accelerate. It has back-end part, which is a feature extractor responsible for extracting features from raw images. And these features get passed into front-end part, which takes the features and outputs the data in desired format. For example, for image classification, that would be class probabilities, object detection, that would be bounding boxes, and uh, for semantic segmentation, that would be segmentation masks. There are three front ends available. Classifier, detector, YOL v2, and segmentation network, SegNet Basic. You can mix and match different feature detectors with different front ends. All network types share the same training script, but have different pre-processing pipelines. The configuration process is done using config file or config dictionary for Google Colab. The best model for training session is automatically converted into the required format, for example, K-Model or TF Lite, and the end of the training session. You put the properly formatted data in, start the training script, and come back to see the converted model that is ready for deployment on your device. There are some other features added for convenience. For example, saving training history graph and grouping training sessions into folders according to the date of the training. For the full list of features, have a look at the GitHub repository. As of now, Automatic conversion is supported for TF Lite format and K model format. I'm adding the support for HTPU format and I plan to add support for Tensor RT optimization. Accelerate is still work in progress. I'll be making some changes from time to time, and if you find it useful and want to contribute, pull requests are very much welcome. In this video, we are going to train person detection model for use with K210 chip on CyberEye board installed on Mark mobile platform. Mark stands for Make a Robot Kit, and it's a robotic platform in development by Tinkergen Education. I take part in development of Mark, and we're currently preparing to launch a Kickstarter campaign. One of the main features of Mark is making machine learning concepts and workflow transparent and easily understandable for students and teachers. As it was mentioned before, Accelerate can be run on local computer or in Google Colab. For this example, we'll opt for running 
it in Google Colab because it simplifies the preparation step. Let's open the sample notebook. Go through the cells one by one to get the understanding of the workflow. This example trains a detection model on a tiny dataset I included with Accelerate. For our next step, we need a bigger dataset to actually train a useful model. For next notebook, we'll use gdown command tool to download the dataset for person detection I shared on Google Drive. It is based on INRIA person detection dataset, which I converted to Pascal Walk format. When actually training the model myself, I added about 400 pictures of our office staff, which I cannot share online. I recommend you also augment this data set by adding pictures of your family or friends. The annotation tool I used for creating annotation files is called Label Image. The model still can be trained without additional pictures, but it won't be as accurate. Open the notebook I prepared, follow the steps there, and in the end, after a few hours of training, you will get the H5, TF Lite, and KModel files saved in your Google Drive. Download the KModel file and copy it on SD card, and then insert the SD card into your main board. In our case, with Mark, it is CyberEye, a modified version of Magsduino. Since Mark is a robot geared towards using education, there are two ways to run the custom model you just trained. The first one is using CodeCraft, a graphical programming environment by Tinkergen. And the second one is using MicroPython with MakeSpy ID. While using MicroPython is undoubtedly more flexible in the ways you can tweak the parameters of inference, Using graphical programming environment is more user-friendly, especially for beginners. If you opt for graphical programming environment, then go to CodeCraft website and choose Mark CyberEye as target platform. Click on Add Extension and choose Custom Models, then click on Object Detection Model. There, you will need to enter the file name of the model on SD card, the actual name of the model you will see in CodeCraft interface, that can be anything, let's enter person detection, category name, we only have one category, person, and anchors. We didn't change anchor parameter during the training, so we'll just leave the default one here. After that, you will see there are three new blocks have appeared. Let's choose the one that output X coordinate of detected object and connect it to display something something at row 1. Put that inside of the loop and upload the code to mark. You should see X coordinate of the center of the bounding box around detected person at the first row of the screen. If nothing is detected, you will see minus 1. This allowed us to implement modal inference in graphical programming environment. Now we'll use MicroPython and MakeSpy IDE to implement more advanced solution. Download and install MakeSpy IDE. Open the example code I enclose with article on Hexter.io. The code logic is following. We check if there are people detected in find center function. If there are people found, it returns the X coordinate of the center of the biggest detected bounding box. If no people detected, the function would return minus 1. If find center function returns the x coordinate, we check if it is closer to image center or on the left, on the right, then control the motors accordingly. If find center function returns minus 1, we use server to do 40 degree tilt scan for people with the camera. If while tilt scan we are unable to find people, the robot does two 180-degree pan scans. Finally, if pan scan doesn't detect any people, robot starts rotating in place clockwise direction while still performing person detection. Here is the final result of MicroPython code in action.
It could be improved still to make it faster or more robust, or the model also can be improved to get more precise detections. This is it for today's video. I hope Accelerate can simplify the process of training and converting machine learning models for you. If you encounter any issues or have an improvement suggestions, please do create issue or pull request on GitHub. I plan to continue maintaining Accelerate, but of course, more can be done if there are other people contributing. Until the next time!